Hello, Darren here, the creative minimalist, www.thecreativeminimalist.com. Hi there, I thought it would be fun, well, fun for me to think. <laughs> I, don't know if it, I don't know if it's fun for you to watch any of my videos when I'm rambling on. Um, but I thought it would be interesting to just uh, take a look at where I am. This is, again, personal for me. Um, where I am on my pilgrimage and journey because currently this is what I'm looking at for my um, general sort of everyday type journals. Um, I'm still not happy with my journal setup so this is a sort of uh, where I am now, a beginning, uh, an ongoing, <laughs> an ongoing struggle journey and um, that's why I need need some tea. Um, it's the afternoon here. I always have tea in the afternoon. Coffee in the morning, tea in the afternoon. Um, but I digress yet again. I do apologise. This is my current journal setup. I'm not happy with it. I'm on a pilgrimage. I've got goals, projects, things that I need to complete, places I need to be. And I'm heading there. In the meantime, I've got to sort out my current journal situation because this, this doesn't work for me. It's well, that's my excuse. It, it's not work. It's not working. But I'll explain what I've what I've currently got. Um, I was doing a bullet journal. This was my bullet journal, and as where I am at the moment, um. Just beginning April. This was the. This is my April days. Um, I'll show you where I am and what I'm doing. But my bullet journal, basically, um, I stopped putting uh, projects and daily tasks in there, in here as much. Um, this was basically what I've got beforehand. And let me explain the reason why. The reason why I'm now using Things for projects. Uh, things is an app. Um, because I need it on my phone and I need it available to use to focus on projects um, and the reason I've my projects and to do's are basically now digital is because there's so much that I need to link to other places and I didn't want to double up I didn't want I found I was writing the same thing in the bullet journal as I was writing on my to-do list and things. However, when writing it down, I couldn't have links to folders, files, and other bits and pieces that I needed available. So I've gone to things for my projects and actions, and that's where they are, and that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm using. So, what's my bullet journal? doing what has it become at the moment I don't know and I think when I get to the end of April um, this will be the first casualty however don't worry don't worry because I think I know where I'm heading I've started um, I started sort of looking almost like a bullet journal but what this is what this is gradually uh, turning into is sort of like an art an art thought junk journal type thing this week and or last week and this week and I think that's where I'm heading I'm starting to write notes in here little little thoughts and things as I'm going through through days and here we are on Thursday again nothing going in there but I need I need a place to express myself visually so there is a need for this sort of journal. It could be in here, or it could be in here, which is what I've been using, although I haven't used this recently, but this was where I was sort of in recent past before moving back into here. I may stay in this little A6 journal because I do like the size. I don't know at the moment, but I think the bullet journal, as a bullet journal, for me, is on its way out. But I'm not sure. That's the current thinking. 
but I am enjoying just splashing paint, paint down in here. I'm finding it very therapeutic and helpful in my journey. So that's where they are. Um, just wanted to share this um, here because I've got a little prayer journal, prayer journal, prayer book that I use. Um, current prayers that I'm reading saying, I like rituals, I like prayers. So that's what's going in there. Um, so I keep that quite close. That's that's something that will continue to use. Also what I'm using, um, I'm using it as a, as a proper diary, again, which is another reason why the bullet journal is sort of slipping away. I'm using my Astro Moon diary uh, because I like to know where the moon is. I use the moon as a ritual, as a process. Um, just another sort of general um, to do thing for a, a lunar cycle pro process that I like to use. Mixing up all my words at the moment. So I'm still using the moon dial and I'm using that quite often. So I'm quite sure these two, these two are in the to keep pile. This, this is in the uh, to develop pile. But I've then got two others um, which are mm, sort of, I'm, I sort of flick, flip, flick, flip between the two of them. Uh, I've got Minstrel's Magic, which is basically music grimoire, which is my songbook. Um, I keep all my songs and ideas in there. <laughs> there are there are stuff in, in there. there. There's a lot of pencil written, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> um, but again, as you can see, a lot of unfinished projects and ideas in, in there. So I'm wondering whether the, that setup is is actually the best way for me to go ahead. But I do like to sit down and just write some lyrics in there. So that's a keeper at the moment. Now, the one that I'm not sure about is um, basically the blog. Um, I've got a, this is for the, for the for this blog and blog and things. Um, I thought it would be good to have a separate um, journal for that. Um, I want it to be a planning type journal to plan ideas and thoughts. Currently, I'm not managing to use it proactively. I'm using it reactively, filling in what I've done. And I don't want that to happen. So unless I can start to become proactive in here, this one may also be on that part. I'd like it to be here. I'd like it to be there. But again, I'm not quite sure where it's going to end up. But so those, I've got, they're my two sort of project type journals. I do have a third one, which is fiction, fiction journal, which I am using. Um, but just to jot down ideas and little stories, ideas that I come up with, bits and pieces. So those, those three I've got currently in use for projects. I think I will be keeping them. But a lot depends on how I can actually sort of be proactive on this. Now, what I did want to just add, just to finish finally with, is that these two, and possibly what's in here, could head back into the Midori. I have a love of the Midori. I want to use it. It's, it, to me, it works. Um, or it, it, sorry, not works, but it feels right. So it's possible that when I'm thinking of traveling, thinking of journeying, thinking of my pilgrimage, this is where I, I find myself. So I may be heading back to the Midori. We shall see. But when it comes to that, that sort of art, throwing things down type journal that I, I find I need, I need that space either to write or to just throw down some paint or anything. Um, and again, that's where the Midori comes in. And I've got these sort of, I've been making sort of little junk, junk type inserts. Um, this is like a, obviously an uncut and unbound idea at the moment. But if I move that to that, into there, that gives me something to take to take with me 
these are the ones that I'm not sure where they will end up. I, I do duplicate, or my fear is that I duplicate a lot of what's in here digitally. So it's possible that I am duplicating stuff and I need to cut that down. And being the creative minimalist, minimalism has to be part of my pilgrimage, uh, part of my journey, part of where I'm going. So they could they could disappear um but that that's where i am at, in the middle of april um getting ready to getting ready for some big changes all being well I'm just waiting um i shall let you know as soon as i know as soon as the pilgrimage starts to take a little bit more shape but that that's where i am so i thought i would share that with you uh an update because i haven't i haven't been here much um or sorry haven't mentioned much about the journals recently, so I wanted to let you let you know what was going on. Um, I hope this has helped you. Uh, I just want to share that, yeah, that it's a struggle. I don't really know what journals to use. I want to. I need to use journals. I, if I'm not using a journal, if I'm not holding a book or writing in a book or doing something in a journal type book, I don't feel right. So I need it. I need the journals, um, but as you can see, I'm duplicating too much stuff, so I need to, I need to stop that, and that is the um, dilemma for the creative minimalist, he wants to be creative, he wants to be minimal, um, and currently the setup isn't working, so I'm back to, back to trying to work it out again. But anyway, I'm using things. I'll try and um, I'll try and list some of the things in the um, whatever comments, the uh, blurb underneath, some links to what I'm doing um, and what I use, um, or on the blog. Do come along and visit the blog, um, the actual uh, Creative Minimalist website, which is www.thecreativeminimalist.com website. Um, I'd love to see you there as well. Um, but if not. Um, I'll try and put as much much in here as possible. Anyway, I've gone on for far too long. Um, I, my tea's not cold, so I'm going to enjoy it and drink that. But you look after yourselves. Uh, you stay safe, um, and let me let me know how your journal journal journey is going. Uh, let me know what you're using. I I do want to know. Um, or drop links to to your uh, your own videos and things in in the comments i love to see i love to follow people i love to know what everyone's everyone's up to so um yeah i'm just nosy i'm just nosy really i want to know what you're doing <laughs> um but yeah do do let me know how things are and how everything is going um in the meantime i'm back to planning planning the pilgrimage planning the journey and planning the creativity i've got lots of things i want to share uh, lots of projects that are bubbling away um lots of songs that are unfinished that need finishing so i'm gonna gonna try and sort out a few of those things in the meantime stay safe stay well and thank you for watching please subscribe press the button uh, somewhere somewhere around please subscribe and set up notifications so you so you know when when i'm here chatting away um in the meantime do stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you soon this is Darren, the Creative Minimalist, saying bye-bye.